uh, g4usbmarketing.com. A uh, little bit of video about uh, list building methods. I wonder is your site sunny and welcoming or is it lost in the fog? If it's lost in the fog like the right hand picture taken uh, at Mullion in Cornwall, uh, people aren't going to find you warm and inviting and they're probably not going to stay very long when they open the door. If you make it warm and inviting like the left hand shot which was taken from my back step looking out across the Atlantic on a nice warm June evening, uh, they're going to feel a little bit differently when they come in through your site's doors and probably uh, will linger a little longer. The first thing that we notice when we start on the web is that very soon we, we realise we need to get traffic and it doesn't take very long to realise that that traffic should also be targeted. Um, it's a little bit like sending your mechanic to Thornton's for brake pads. Uh, the chocolate will taste very nice but uh, I'm afraid your XK8 won't stop very quickly. It needs to be targeted. Uh, bulk mailing is still has a place um, but it's not going to be your prime source of, uh, uh, of customers that's for sure. Whatever you do make sure you don't spam. The last thing you want to do is to get a name as an email spammer and uh, that will just literally pull the rug out from under your business and you will go nowhere. Don't give up too quickly though. You will reach many plateaus trying to find the method that works for you. Um, but all of a sudden you will find something that really does draw the traffic to you. When you've done that, stick with it. Other methods that you can try are traffic exchanges. They always claim to produce floods of traffic to your site. Maybe they do, but they also soak up hours of your valuable time uh, clicking on and uh, waiting for the, the, the various advertisements to finish their 15 or 30 second time slots just to build up another extra point or so to get your advert in front of other people who are doing the same thing. The traffic that uh, is produced will not be targeted. It will literally, 90% of the time, uh, be opened on your screen, never to be read by a human. I don't think they work. Banner exchanges, however, do have a place, even in today's busy marketplace. Uh, they've always been a useful additional exposure for any site. And if you consider the likes of Viral URL, for example, as a paid member there, I believe you can have five banners that can, uh, can, can go on display within the site. And there are thousands of people using that site every day who might just see it and decide to click. That's the plus point. The visitors that come from a banner exchange will have made a conscious decision to click on your banner and when they get there they are in some way targeted. Once you've set up these banners they can really be set and forget. You don't have to monitor them on a daily basis so uh, when they're done they're done. I mentioned bulk mailings earlier. The nice thing about them they are easy to send and use and in some way they are supposed to be targeted because you can pick the various categories of client that they are being sent to. With them there is no chance of being accused of spam because you've joined and so have the other people that you're sending to around the world. You're likely to get a very small response rate, yes, but for example with Blast for Traffic you have a membership that costs you less than $40 for life. Each mailing that you send is supposed to go to around 2 million recipients. Now it doesn't take Einstein to work out that you can have a minuscule percentage rate and still possibly have a few clicks to come in and become a client. So it's well worth trying because it's not going to take you hours and cost you a fortune. And the nice thing about it is you can send the mailing and you know it's going to go globally across all oceans. In the case of the picture here, it's the Atlantic again, taken in Cornwall. 
Membership list building sites also have a place. I've used a few of them, for example, ListJoe, List.com, that's Mike Thilsanes, and Viral URL, just to, to name the, uh, the, the main ones. There are many of them out there, and they all have uh, different guises. The main idea is that you promote those membership sites, and the sign-ups under you form your own list. Fine if, you, if your sign-ups are proactive, like you, but that doesn't always happen, of course. The plus point is that you can also email the other site members every two, maybe three days, and these mailings can extend to several thousand people in a month um, with 5,000 or 6,000 uh, mailings um, you know, going out to the, to the various people. And you've got a lot of uh, additional features that you can use. For example, once again with Viral URL, you have their link cloaking um, facility available. And that is worth its weight in gold too. List Joe has actually proved to be the most successful source of visitors for my blog and at one stage accounted for over 50% of them. The Web2 revolution, well it's with us and it's here to stay. We know about blogs and how successful they can be in promoting your business. Social bookmarking isn't going to go away, it's huge. Social networking, similarly it's a leviathan, it's never going to disappear. Twitter, I'll mention a little bit later. The likes of Zimbio and Squidoo, very, very worthwhile. And the Buzzbot, that is going to be a revolution in itself. The Web2 upgrade, worth having a look at. As I said, so the social networking sites such as MySpace and Facebook are huge. MySpace has 246 million users and counting, and Facebook about 124 million of them. They're not going to go away. They're a leviathan. So get on there, make some friends. When you've joined, you should make as many friends as possible. Send and make response to as many messages as possible. Possibly by joining groups which specialize in your niche. Post comments, make the comments useful. Uh, and make yourself noticed as somebody who helps others. Create your own group and then invite friends to join it. Post classified adverts when they're allowed and use your RSS feed to automatically put your blog contents onto the sites. Also upload videos to get yourself noticed. Twitter as I said is not going to go away either. It now has over 2 million users. It's a micro blogging facility and use it to make new contacts and friends. It's used by many of the guru types such as Mike Phil same and even Sir Richard Branson is a Twitterite. Observe who you con who they contact and interact with it. Seek their friendship too. Ask them to follow you. It's become a powerful tool. It gets your thoughts known in all corners of the world immediately. Not a place to ply your trade and advertise. Make friends and contacts. Article writing has been around for years. It's a very long-lived presence on the web. Um, needs effort to write the article, yes, but once it has been submitted and accepted, that article will be there in perpetuity. Your links will be there in perpetuity and it will keep you in good stead for years to come. So, anything is worth trying if it's free or within your budget. Without exposure to the masses, your site will remain in the fog and unloved. Rule number one, Make it work for you. Take a look at my site, http www.g4usbmarketing.com forward slash blog and have a look and see what you can find there. A lot of useful information, I can promise you. On a final note, here is the other G4USB in my life. It's my uh, Volkswagen Corrado. I'm deeply into the Volkswagen scene and I'm also an amateur radio operator. G4 USB is my call sign. I'm known by that around the world. So no apologies for using it for my web presence. Thanks for looking. Have a nice day and great success in any endeavor that you undertake. From Norman Pascoe, G4 USB at G4USBmarketing.com.